Good afternoon, friends. Stephen Benoon here with Israeli News Live, and uh, got some very interesting intel out of Israel today. And that information is that the state of Israel, Prime Minister Netanyahu, is actually making a very surprise visit over to China uh, right now. And that trip that he is about to make is part of an initiative to join the BRICS, uh, the, uh, the whole New World Order, BRICS Nations agenda. Now, this information coming out, uh, out of Israel that I actually got, people that are actually in the know, people that are actually working in the economy of Israel, very high up in the economic forum of Israel, uh, has shared with me that Netanyahu, his state trip to China, is to forge the relationship with the BRICS nations, uh, that being Britain, or excuse me, Brazil, Russia, India, China, and uh, uh, South Africa. I believe, if I'm not mistaken, uh, Brazil. Yeah, that's right. I got Brazil as well in there. But uh, many other nations have already joined, including uh, we know that uh, I think Saudi Arabia has joined in with them. We know that uh, Egypt and uh, as well as one other nation. Now, I kind of found this interesting, also in light of the fact that Amos uh, Yadlin, who is a very famous Israeli general, uh, he's a retired general, executive director of the Institute of National Security and Studies from 2011 to 2021. He's former head of Israel's defense intelligence. Uh, And he came out in some tweets on Twitter he says, the briefing on the prime minister's intention to visit China next month a, as a signal of the Biden administration that Israel has strategic alternatives to a powerful support is uh, an Israeli attempt to imitate the Saudi diversification of supports policy. This is a move that will harm the Israeli interests and not promote it. Now, General Yadlin actually is supportive of Israel maintaining their ties with the U.S. because, as he points out, uh, that Israel has a very close, uh, good ties with the U.S. And of course, yes, we've been bled pretty dry by uh, Israel in supplying all of their modern weapons, technology, etc. And he feels like joining up with BRICS is going to lose that uh, that relationship that has had that has been ongoing for many, many decades. There, he also says here in this part of the tweet for you as well. If someone in the prime minister's circle thinks it is wise to behave like Ben Salman and travel to China to annoy Biden and show him that Israel has another strategic option, they are making a bitter mistake, and we do not uh, and we do not understand the importance of the competition between the powers and the geopolitics of the 21st century. Of course, uh, General Ben Sal- uh, Salman, uh, if you remember him, he was the Iranian general that was killed. Uh, actually, they say he was killed by uh, President uh, Trump, who authorized the strike on his motorcade, but we know the Israelis were involved in that. We shared that with you in a video some time back uh, where we actually had gotten the photos directly out of Israel from the intel community there of uh, Ben Salman uh, and his death of his, where they uh, bombed his motorcade. Uh, but at any rate, uh, Amos Yadlin, uh, I'll put his little uh, Twitter, I'll put his Twitter feed in here. He does about five or six of them in there. This one here was also worth noting there. Uh, I thought maybe I should share that one as well. Um, It says, Saudi Arabia does not receive annual military aid of billions of dollars from the United States, does not depend on American veto in the UN Security Council, does not benefit from American financial guarantees, and does not receive the best weapons. Israel needs a government in Yemen to advance its strategic goals, to prevent Iran from acquiring nuclear weapons, and to add... Uh, Saudi Arabia to the normalization of cycle. Uh, So it's just kind of interesting to see all of this. He also goes into another part there. He talks about the Palestinians uh, in his tweet there. Uh, Let's just see. Here we go right here. A traditional supporter. He talks about China regularly votes against Israel and the UN. A traditional supporter of the Palestinian position in its uh, strategic alliance with Iran and is not substitute for the security intelligence and operational cooperation that Israel maintains with the USA. Now, with that being said, the general is actually right. Uh, We have right here on RT News, Palestinian president to visit China. Beijing has again positioned itself as a mediator in a regional dispute. And Palestinian president Mahmoud Abbas will visit China next week at the invitation of President Xi Jinping, the foreign uh, minister 
ministry in Beijing announced on Friday China has a signal its intent to back the Israeli-Palestinian peace negotiations at the invitation of President Xi Jinping. President of the state Palestinian Mahmoud Abbas will pay a state visit to China from June 13th to the 16th. Uh, spokesperson uh, Wal Ch uh, Chun Ying said in an official release on the foreign ministry website on Friday, which we already know that's already taken place, already done, done has already happened, done been, done over, whatever you want to call it there. Uh, and uh, but the point being though that that uh, General Yaldin uh, was correct on the issue about uh, China and and the Palestinians. So. It's just kind of interesting. Like I said, I get the intel this evening that uh, China, or excuse me, that, that the state visit that Netanyahu is doing here in July is that he is actually courting the Chinese there and that is a high-level delegation going there to actually officially have Israel join the BRICS nations. So one step closer to New World Order and uh, something that we had anticipated. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Have a blessed evening.